My diagnosis was nine years ago, and the doctor told me I had Parkinson's, confirmed it. I told him he was crazy. It felt like somebody was dragging me down. I would like trip and not realize, you know, why I'm tripping. Eight years ago, before that, I was a walker, runner, triathlete. Marathoner. Wow. And suddenly one weekend, my nervous defense my shaking, my big hand was shaking. After we came to the realization that we had a significant percentage of our patient population affected by Parkinson's, we started with training all of our staff to understand what Parkinson's is and what it isn't. And we quickly began to compile a list of other therapeutic interventions that we could add, like yoga for Parkinson's and Tai Chi for Parkinson's and dance for Parkinson's. The problem with Parkinson's is that every Parkinson's patient is different. So you can alert them to certain things, but it's very difficult. They have to really get to know the patient. The Michael J. Fox Foundation is thrilled to be collaborating with the Jewish Home family to be able to bring information and tools to the community to better navigate how to live with Parkinson's disease and to be able to get more involved in clinical research for Parkinson's disease. We began to work with other organizations and learn about other things that we were clued into by the Fox Foundation, including Rock Steady Boxing, which has become a hugely important program for the Jewish Home family. I do the Tai Chi. Uh, the box and I love. I get rid of my frustrations on it. You know, you're not in a good mood. Well, we've all been diagnosed with Parkinson's. The three of us are all original members in June for the first class. Oh, we get along really well and we have fun. The class really gives you uh, a purpose that feels like you're you know, fighting back. It's not um, the typical group exercise program where everybody's trying to have a, a beautiful sculpted body like Steve. <laughs> There's very, very little they can do about it except try different programs and exercises and so forth. In some ways, when the body is engaged in that kind of exercise, it frees the person in some respects. It's, it's as if they have the ability to move those parts more freely because they're focused in a different way. More people are getting Parkinson's, where you hear about more people getting Parkinson's and they're like coming out of the woodwork, and so I think you're, you're really um, serving a community here. There are many more thing opportunities now than there were 12 years ago when I got it. Um, none of this was available then, nothing. Being in the program, the Parkinson program, I can see from the other people we have the same group, and I can see the difference in, in the people and myself. So all of these things that help with the focus and the concentration and the mindfulness are all ways, I think, that we're contributing to the overall well-being of an individual who has a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. It's very encouraging to see that the medical community knows about this place and that this place is amazing. It really is. I really feel from the bottom of my heart that this is the right place to be.